motherfucking yeah. copycat. Fuck your ambiance. They call me lots. High locks. Kinches that you fucking with me, probably not. Probably not. What is up guys, my name is Max von Trap Arts and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you some basic effects and after effects you can use to make intros. Um, a lot of people requested this one, so I might start the series up with this, so yeah. Um, okay, basically before I want to start I want to say that I'm not in Germany, so I can't make intros. Uh, for four days, um, from tomorrow, so Friday, up to Tuesday midnight, so probably Wednesday, uh, then I'm back. Um, so yeah, don't expect any video of me in that time, I won't be in Germany, so yeah. Um, okay, but just let's jump right into it. Um, as you can see here, it's the Torbold intro. And um, yeah, I use quite some effects in this one, um, and I want to quickly show. And for everyone who's fucking requesting this background tutorial, like this fire tutorial of the text, nope, I won't do this. You can request it as often as you want. I won't answer to this anymore. It's uh, making me sick. I told you. So, um, but to, to start, uh, at first you're gonna need a lot of plugins. Or like not a lot, but some. Um, the like most likely pl uh, the the plugin I uh, like most is um, Sapphire. It has a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, that magic world looks like magic bullet as itself but looks for the call correction and as well uh, my you might use twitch twitch or something um i'm not using it but people do so yeah twitch is one plugin of you can use so whatever um at first uh i'm always putting some uh like an adjustment layer like right click here down and new adjustment layer and then you type in shake and then you got s shake so you can do quite a lot of stuff with s shake so my settings mostly are like on frequency of 5 and then you play around with the amplitude uh, whatever you need so yeah that's basically it um to uh, if you don't know how to keyframe um this is pretty easy um what you can do is uh easily click here the watch next to amplitude then you go on your adjustment layer, click there, and type U on your keyboard, then this pops up. So, I made a keyframe here at 219, and on 220 there's my drop. This is what I know. So I'm putting it up to like 1, and let it fade out quite a while, like this. So, and let's just see what happens. It's just, yeah, as you can see, it's like a small shake. Mm. On 5 it's pretty chilly, if I would uh, put it up on like 8 where it was back before it would be so more, like more aggressively and this is what I don't like about S shake like too uh, aggressive settings so I pretty much like it on 4 or 5 just try yourself uh, out what you like Um, you have to find your own style so this is what I use okay um Another thing you can do with S Shake, most people are using Motion Tile, but I'm still using S Shake because I like it. Um, I will create a new adjustment layer for this, uh, put S Shake on it, and you put down the amplitude and the frequency both on zero. And what you can do now is um, this with Z Dist or Z Dist, whatever. This is kind of Motion Tile, but it's not the original one but kind of looks like this and yeah you can keyframe it as well just like this typing U then it made a keyframe and you could go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5 frames forward put it on like 3 then go small bit forward put it on 4 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 put it on 1 and let's see how it looks um, this is how I basically do this. And yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So, pretty smooth. You can use this as well. Uh, so, these two effects are pretty cool already. But it's like only one effect. Whatever you can do, two effects of one. Um, the other thing is optic compensation. Um, as well. You can use this for drops, and I know my drop is still on to 9, uh, 2, 10, no, 
to 20, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so to 90. I'm putting up the common compensation down here. Make a tick at uh, this thing under the fourth setting stuff. Um, otherwise, if you wouldn't do this, it looks like this, as you can see, and that looks pretty weird. So put this in, and then it looks like this. You can do a lot of stuff with this. Um, so basically, you can just make a keyframe there, and one, two, three frames forward, or four. I mostly do it like, yeah. No, wait, on the drop, which is here, I'm putting it on like 140, or maybe more. Oh, okay, it crashed. Um, see you back when my After Effects is working again. Okay, back in the biz, so, um, I want to show you still the optic compensation, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, effect. Um, so, uh, what you're gonna do is, like, from your drop you go four frames backwards and put it on zero, like this, and then go four frames forward again, put it on, like, 150, something around that, um, and then you can slowly fade it out like this and then you got a nice optic compensation effect um, I'm using this quite often so yeah you might have seen this a lot yeah also I used this in the Torbold intro as well um, what else can you do? Uh, you can take uh, radial burr I think yeah radial burr um, this is an effect I'm mostly doing only in v uh, Sony Vegas, Sony Vegas, whatever. Um, so yeah, what you can do with this is like, uh, let's see, here's around here's my drop. So I'm putting the strength on zero, and one frame forward, I'm putting it on like let's see, four, four or five, something, something around that. So let's fade it out like this, and then we got a nice radial blur, which looks like this, as you can see. Without the radial blur, it would be uh, like oh, no. doesn't change like this. Okay, it's not changing, not that much. I like you can't really see it. I can see it, but you probably not, uh, because I just got it on quarter. But whatever. Um, also, this is a nice effect. Um, what else can you use? Um, at least that's it. What I'm mostly using for effects and stuff. Um, there might be some other cool things uh, in Sapphire, but I'm not doing a lot of effects in so uh, like in After Effects. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, for color corrections, I probably won't do a tutorial because, yeah, otherwise people would copy my style. This is like, not everyone is doing this. Whatever. Uh, so thank you for watching, and if you have any requests on tutorials in After Effects or any other programs, whatever, which has something to do with motion design, um, you can simply just write it as a comment. I would like to see that. And um, please do not ask for the glow effect of the text. I won't tell it, still. So, again, thank you for watching, and see you in the next intro tutorial, and goodbye.